Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to start this vlog off. It's just gonna be, you know, a relaxing, easy vlog. I'm literally just going to like bake some cookies and do some laundry. But I wanted to just send my condolences to Tina Turner's family. Um, we lost a legend, you guys. And I was so, so sad when I got the news. My mom loved Tina Turner. So she would play her and then that's how, you know, I fell in love with her music as well. And these were her two, these are my mom's two favorite songs, Private Dancer and What's Love Got To Do With It. Oh my goodness, you guys. So yeah, my heart just goes out um, to Tina's, Tina Turner's family. And I mean, it just, oh, it's just making me like so, so sad. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are telling your family, you know, your friends, how much you love them now, you know, while you still can, because we never know. We just never know. So like I was saying, I'm just in the middle of making some homemade chocolate chip cookies with walnuts. They're semi-sweet semi chocolate with walnuts. And then I'm gonna do um, some laundry. Did I just say laundry? Laundry? <laughs> Um, so, you know, I'll just kind of show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm going to pin my hair up so that it doesn't, you know, get into anything and, uh, I'll get back with you guys. Okay. So I got it all, um, pinned up. I'm also making a big pot of pinto beans and then rice. Also, um, chicken, shredded lettuce, cheese. Um, and Fiesta Ranch, a creamy Fiesta Ranch, um, because I'm making basically a copycat Chipotle bowls um, for dinner. So I was just thinking, okay, we're gonna have that and some cookies and call it a day. Um, because you guys know I usually cook for, sun for, I usually do Sunday dinners for Sunday, today is Sunday. So I was just like, okay, let me just throw that together. So yeah, I'll show you guys. So here's um, my beans and then just don't be looking at my stove. Um, I just had a spill so I still have to clean it up so don't be um, judging me and stuff. And then I have rice. Let me get the pot holder. Just a piece of food on there guys. And there's the rice. Yes, I use plates as lids. <laughs> It was something my mom used to do. <laughs> so um, I can't find the lid to that one. So a plate will do. Thank you very much. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to move this. Oh, my husband bought me a, um, a new phone. Um, basically, I use that one for calls and stuff like that. But I just film like on my iPhone. But we were playing um, Candyland. All of us were playing Candyland. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I have um, all of my ingredients um, right here basically and I got some walnuts and ooh, the best part Nestle morsels um, they snuck into my chocolates here my husband and my son because they said they wanted something sweet and it was like in the middle of the night and they were desperate and they opened those I'm like what what how dare you guys mess with my chocolate chips like what? <laughs> and I got some eggs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this recipe together. And then you guys, I just have the butter and the sugars together. And no, I don't have like um, all of my like, you know, pretty bakeware and all that type of stuff. I'm just using um, what I have because I haven't got a chance to go pick out all of that. I did like pots and pans and all that. And then I'm going to do like the baking and stuff like that. So do you guys bake your cookies homemade or do you use like the little break apart, you know, the one in the ones in the refrigerated section? Um, I really love the way that homemade cookies taste. Um, and you know what, you guys, mine kind of remind me, dare I say, of Mrs. Fields from way back in the day. Um, <laughs> I, I love those cookies. Those were like literally my favorite cookies. So I find that when you make them homemade, they have more of that type of taste. Um, so, yeah. And then I'll do the camera 
Um, a while ago, my mentor got me um, the tripod that I can set you guys on and show more. Um, and that was broken during the move. So now I just have you guys on the little handheld one um, that I have to hold it or like stick you guys into something. So that's why it might be a little awkward or you're not able to see um, just what I'm doing. But that's okay because I'm just going to turn the camera around and just kind of let you guys um, see. And we're just basically chatting, baking. Oh, I said I was going to do laundry. Okay, let me do that. And let me get these combined. I have to add some vanilla. Have you guys seen the cost of vanilla? But anyhow, I got the um, great value because I usually use, what is it, McCormick? Is it, is it McCormick? It's like $9 for vanilla extract. Oh, and that's the little bottle. The big bottle's like $14 or something like that. So I just got great value. Um, I didn't want to get the imitation because the imitation um, is not good and you're going to be able to taste that difference. So, no, I got, you know, real pure vanilla extract. Um, but, who grocery prices are like, they're not real anymore. Like, I think we're all just being punked or something because these prices are astronomical. Like, what? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So the dough part is ready. Ooh, here comes the good part. Mm-hmm. How cute are these minis? Oh my gosh. And of course, walnuts. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna do um, some laundry. My, I keep saying laundry, laundry, woo. Um, my camera actually died, you guys, so I had to go charge it. It's about at 50%. Um, but yeah, let's, let's finish the cookies too. I think I'm going to put that back through. Okay. So I refrigerated the cookie dough just to make it a little bit more firm. So there it is. And then I got my little pan. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and put these, um, on the pan and bake them. And now we wait, we wait for the yummy, the yummy chocolate chip cookies yeah wait a minute you guys i just realized that i skipped my doctor's appointment on friday i just realized that um i have to go in to have my blood pressure monitored um so yes but i've been drinking a lot more water um my doctor keeps wanting to put me on lucinopril um but thanks to one of my starfires um that let me know that it's actually dangerous for black people, African Americans. Um, and even when I went to Walgreens, you know how they give you the write up about your medication? It literally states that on there about um, there's a notice um, for African American um, people. And so I'm thinking, um, I don't know how to break the news to her, but it's dangerous and she keeps prescribing it to me. So. I'm gonna have to let her know at like our next appointment cause I'm scared. Um, I still take my other blood pressure medication um, and I think that it has come down. Um, but yeah, and I've been eating more fruit, more vegetables and we've been going for walks. Um, of course I'm baking cookies, but that's just for Sunday. It's not every single day. Um, so don't be judging me. Um, but yeah, I just realized I forgot my doctor's appointment. Now I have to call when well, they're closed Monday. Uh, call Tuesday and reschedule. Hmm. So this is how the cookies are turning out. I have one more batch after this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, they look so good. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna finish off this vlog. Um, I'm gonna finish up with the cookies and the laundry and then um, putting dinner together. But really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys this um, self-care vlog. I didn't get too many things, um, but I stopped by TJ Maxx and found some goodies. Um, remember, self-care is important, so make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. <laughs> Um, this is Dr. Till's. I love Dr. Till's body wash. This one is the oat milk argan oil one that is soothe and comfort. And I got this big 24 ounce bottle for 
$4.79. It's usually double that like at Walmart or and a little bit more at Target. So make sure you stop by like Marshalls, TJ Maxx and places like that for a lot of your self-care and body care needs, even candles, housewares, all of that. So the next thing is by Best Skin. This is a facial cleanser. It's infused with vitamin C. I love the packaging um, first and foremost because most things in my bathroom are pink. So it's just pink and pretty. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the Kylie ones too. What do you guys think? So yeah, if you want um, an update on this, then I will let you know because um, when I run out of facial cleanser, I just start using anything and that's not good um, for my face. And then it just starts to like break out. So yeah, not good. And then I found this Milani 570 Nude Mocha um, foundation. It's called Screen Queen. I have one that I'm using now. It's 530. This one's darker. It's 570. Um, I might have to mix it, but I love this foundation. And look, 70 cents. 70 cents? Like, I was thinking, wow, that's a good deal. So anyhow, I just dropped the bottle. I hope it doesn't spill on the carpet because it was leaking a little bit. But um, yeah. So you guys, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. Um, make sure you join me here next time. Bye for now.